Hello, good evening. Um, before I get started, I just want to say thank you for some people being here. Um, thank you for being here on this night, um, the weather being terrible. Um, I wish my publisher could be here, Tara Caribou, however she's in Alaska. Um, Tara got in touch with me, and I got in touch with Andy. Um, so I want to thank Andy and Angelo for this opportunity. Um, it's awesome. Honestly, I wish I could take this far and just place it closer to Queens. That would be great. I'd be there all the time. Um, thank you to my parents for being here. Okay, that means a lot. Um, as well as the, the, the weather seems to parallel the political climate of the country right now. So I, it feels necessary to read a poem that has to do with being a Jewish woman. Um, so I'm going to start off with that. Um, the storm outside parallels the storm within the world. Okay. So, start with that. A tattoo is needle Jewish museum. I come from I come from starving women. Let me start again. I come from women starving to sleep. Chap lips stuck to deflated breasts. A prisoner's palm clenched and closed under his control. His fingers steered me where to crawl, dig and drag through cowboys of skin. He taught me the art of etching and scraping numbers into arms. I hold drops of dry blood and luck on my tip. Um, the next one is actually a special poem. It's called the Contrapunctual Poem, which is actually written um, with, with the blending of two different types of the poem. So it can be read three ways, and it look, it's juxtaposed side by side. I'm gonna, I'll read it twice, two different ways. I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes who silently wept? Hath not a Jew hands that carry corpses, organs, dimensions? to and from ovens, senses, affections, passions, over time ended up numb. Hurt with the same weapons, blocked, but I didn't cry. Subject to the same diseases, burnt and experimented on. Healed by the same means, was that the blessing? If you prick us, do we not bleed? I asked the cop of tattooing forearms. If you tickle us, do we not laugh? Yes, a blessing I cannot afford. If you poison us, do we not die? We looked up at all the fleshy smoke, and if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? He said, learn to turn revenge is cheap. Motel Mira. Um, this was written in the wake of the overturning of Roe uh, mm -hmm. back in June of last year. Um, this is an argument about that. Motel Mira. Before the pregnant woman removed her clothes, she looked into me like she was a fortune teller, and I a crystal ball. She sighed and whispered, How do I do this? I can only offer reflection, truth, its careful inventions. She ran a finger down one of my cracks, pressed a hand to my glass face, stripped and waited for her boyfriend, who was skimming a textbook. After patting and brushing, or brushing her swollen stomach, he looked at the catheter in his hand. After insertion, a flood of blood. He ran to get towels from the bathroom, then left her. With hands, I would have tried to build a dam. Some barrier for the hemorrhaging. With fingers, I could have dialed 911. I watched her pull sheets from the bed, stuffed them between her legs to block the blood. She bent before me, a woman on her knees without a prayer.
Huh? Um, you can bring one more. You can bring one more. This is in reference to Pulse, the LGBT, LGBTQ club that was actually shot up um, seven years ago. It's called Pulse. Um, it is the title poem of my book. Um, it drops tomorrow. If you would like, it will be available on Amazon. I don't have any copies right now, but it's actually come in. Um, it's available on Google uh, as well. Pulse. To them, we're already just bodies on the floor, dancing and shot dead, not making it out free to store. We're cooled by the same water, ebbing at the same shore. Like them, we get scared of the corpses, drenched in red. They're us, those bodies on the floor. We dream of a day we don't have to say anymore. Next could be me or the woman I chose to wed, not making it out free to the floor. Holding hands, we choose to fight this war. My lips pressed against their skin in our bed. To them, we're already just bodies on the floor. I'm not damned or I need all the sure. I really don't require conversion. Instead, know that I'm worthy of walking through freedom's door. Even when I'm li living, sorry, even when living becomes less thrill than a shore, we won't bleed and bleed until all blood is left. We're not just bodies on the floor. We'll dance through and out of freedom's door.